Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're in a little bit of a <laughs> different setting. Um, I'm actually in my parents' bathroom right now. Um, today's video is going to be a get unready with me or like my skincare routine at night or kind of how I just melt my makeup off. Um, I feel like I'm one of those people who's super guilty of like not taking off my makeup at night but um, I feel like these steps make it easy and make me feel like I'm actually getting all of my makeup off as opposed to just like washing my face and calling that taking my makeup off. Um, yeah, and then I'm also gonna show you kind of like what I do to de-stress and kind of like my night when I'm doing kind of like a more chill night. So um, yeah, let's just hop into the video. Okay, so to start, I use the Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes. I'm not super like invested in these wipes, I used to use the Estee Edit wipes, um, but then I ran out of those. So I moved to Neutrogena just because in my local CVS and I feel like everyone uses Neutrogena and I actually use this to take my eye makeup off with because the other steps that I'm going to show you aren't as apt to get off eye makeup and I use eyeliner and mascara which are both kind of difficult to get off. So just use these to get my makeup off with. In this video too, um, I'm gonna show you my, what I do to make the perfect bath and also just kind of like relaxing. Um, I think I've had like a really hard week these last couple of weeks to be honest. And I think that self care and having something to do for you is just so important and so i feel like it's really talked about and kind of like over glamorized like self-care like take care of your body and whatever um but i think it's for me it's a really like mind body soul type thing and that sounds like a lot of pressure to put on like a bath and a face mask and whatever but i just really feel like it's the only time where i can really like stop my brain you know think about the good things and the fact that I just get to sit in a tub for like, you know, 30 minutes and watch a TV show and I don't have any obligations. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna show you my perfect bath and kind of the new show I'm watching and how I set that all up. So um, yeah, but yeah, so once I'm done taking all of my makeup off, I'm just gonna check. We've got this eyeliner is just, it stays on for ever with the NYX um, liquid eyeliner and I love it but man it's hard to get off. <laughs> okay so once that is all off the next thing I actually use is the Clinique Take Off the Day Balm and this is the cleansing balm and I wasn't a believer of this for a really long time. I actually got a travel size one and ended up buying a full size because I just think it's like the best thing ever. Um, this is used to take off like face makeup and I use, you take it just like with your fingers and it's kind of disgusting, but you rub it all over your face and it literally just like melts the makeup off, I feel like. Um, and this is good because when you just cleanse your skin with makeup on it, you're cleansing once to get the makeup off and then you need to cleanse again to get, to actually cleanse your skin. So this is a good step to get your makeup off with. And I really like it because I feel like it's also kind of moisturizing to my skin and I have like really dry skin. I was on Accutane when I was younger and so my skin is just very <laughs> confused at this point in my life. I don't get much acne anymore but I do have dry spots and oily spots and it comes and goes but yeah. Once I have that all over my face I'm just going to take a wet cloth and wipe off all of the makeup and it's like actually disgusting i don't know if you can see that but you can see how much makeup that took off just with that cleansing balm um but yeah so then once i've taken rinsed off the cleansing balm the next thing i like to use is this checks and balances frothy face wash from origin um i had a lot of like dry skin problems like my makeup just wasn't sitting right so I went to Ulta and I was like, revamp me, take me to a new level. So this was what the woman there recommended. And she said she used to work for Origin, so she's a little biased, but that this 
cleanser feels like it's washing your face with a pillow and I could not agree with that anymore unless it was like washing your face with a cloud but um basically it's this cleanser and I'll show it to you guys it's just this white like cleanser um but when you mix it with water it gets super foamy um and if you just rub it in between your hands the more you rub it on your skin it just gets more and more like foamy and frothy and it's so soft um again because i don't have really dry skin or super oily skin this just keeps my skin cleansed and all nice i haven't had really any bad breakouts or bad dry spots with this so i recommend it <laughs> And then I'm just wiping this face mask off. Or right, face mask, face wash. I'm washing this face mask, this face wash off. And I'm someone who gets really dry um, right around my nose, um, especially where I have my nose ring. So I really try and focus there. And then also weirdly like right where my, between my eyebrows are. Um, I feel like a lot of makeup and gunk just gets really stuck right there, so. Paying extra attention to that. I'm just gonna dab off. Ugh, I think. And then typically next, I would put on a moisturizer, but I'm actually gonna do a face mask tonight. So this is one that I just picked up at CVS, and I really wanted to do a bubble mask. So this is a bubble sheet mask. This is in exfoliates and cleanses. So I'm actually gonna start my glasses back on now <laughs> um, I'm actually going to run my tub and put all the products in there and then have this in the back I just stopped running my tub for a really quick sec because I wanted to talk you through the products that I use in the bath um, so for my bath, I use drench um, drench me by Zoella it's a bubble bath soap and this makes amazing bubbles I really like this I've also used Scooper Duper, and I think they both make amazing bubbles, but I love the smell of this one. Um, this is from her newest line, so I use this mixed with um, her milk powders. Um, I did have the one from this collection, but I actually used it, and they were out at my Ulta. So um, this one is from her, I think this is, oh crap, I think this is her Gelato range, um, but the package came with like a few of them, so I still have some of these. So I use this mixed with the bubble bath. Um, and then along with that, I put on my face mask and I just like candles. Um, so this is the one I'm currently burning. It's Sea Salt and Surf Pure Soy Cotton Wick Candle from um, Broken Top Candle Company. I actually got this in a Vela box, which they so kindly sent me. Um, I won a contest that I got a Vela box, so I will leave a link to the Vela box in the description along with Broken Top because I think these candles smell amazing. And yeah, I just love burning a candle because again, self-help, <laughs> self-care. So um, yeah, I'll burn my candle and just sit in the bath and watch my favorite TV show, which currently I'm catching up on The Bold Type, which if you want to talk about self-help and self-care, that show is so inspirational and it sounds so dumb that a show about essentially some girls like Cosmo can be so amazing even women at work that i work with who are so amazing and i love them to pieces but they're even older than me and they love this show too so it really shows you that it resonates across um all age groups and for everyone i think they touch on some really uh difficult topics and yeah i love that show so that's what i'm watching right now um but if it's out i usually watch escape the night as well with joey graceffa also my favorite show right now so i'll either watch one of these two while i'm in the bath is the end of my skincare routine for the night um the last thing i did to finish off was use the ultra repair cream intense hydration skin protectant from first aid beauty um this is another thing i got recommended to me at ulta when i got the origins cleanser and then i also use the it's potent eye cream um i've gone through several different eye creams but i feel like i just keep coming back to this one um also because benefit always gives me free samples of it when i go to get my eyebrows done um, so yeah, love this eye cream. I think it works really well. Um, but yeah, just to close out this video, um, I kind of want to touch on 
the importance of self-care and like kind of treating yourself and like thinking about it in that way. Um, I think I personally struggled a lot um, recently and I think that it's been a topic on YouTube a lot recently, especially for the people I've been subscribed to kind of talking about how to feel better after a bad day or if you're having a bad day, like here's my bad day vlog. Um, I think Estee Lalonde and um, Alana Davidson did really great videos um, kind of showing how they get out of that rut and it's not easy and it's hard for a lot of people so I'm gonna link those videos down below because I think for me they really helped me and showed me that you know people go through this kind of stuff all the time and I'm not alone and I think that's really awesome so I hope this video maybe showed you guys <laughs> something or maybe you learned something about my skincare routine you're wondering um if you guys want me to do a video on my experience with Accutane um and kind of how my skin has adjusted since I was younger um do let me know in the comments down below or if you like this kind of video or you want to hear more about like my self-care tips and like that kind of stuff and how I get myself out of a rut definitely leave a comment and like this video so I know um if you want to stay on and see more videos from me definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and yeah i will see you in my next video